<laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome back to the TCAD 10 Minute Take. It is I, your host, Sheree L. Stewart. And with me, as always, is Don the Legend Chambers. This is the 10 Minute Take. This is our shorty version of the normal TCAD podcast where we talk about one movie, one movie and one movie only. And since, you know, we're back into the swing of watching movies, although not in the theaters like everybody else, we are going to talk about today is The Hunt. <laughs> Ooh, so, the, hunt. the hunt. Before we get started, make sure you click the subscribe button and you click that bell to get all the notifications for the 10 minute takes as soon as they drop. Yes. Okay. And as always, I will start the timer and Don will go first. Go. Boom. All right. The Hunt. Directed by Craig Zobel and it stars Hilary Swank. It's got uh, Ike Bar- Barenholtz. 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 Baren- and yes. Betty Gilpin. Um, let me just say, I was pleasantly, pleasantly (laughs) surprised by this movie. And I didn't have high hopes at first, because when I kind of read a little, it was either a wiki or something. I just want to get the brief synopsis. And it was, it was saying something like, uh, elite liberals are hunting, um, deplorables for sport, uh, except they picked the wrong one or something like that. And I was like... I was like, oh, Lord, is this going to try to make some sort of political statement? And because overtly and it's probably going to be ham fisted and terrible. Thankfully, doesn't happen. What it does is it takes sort of those caricatures of an elite liberal and a deplorable and it uses it to to great humor not just in 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 how they are and act, but also humor in the kills, because some of the kills are just hilarious. I, I was laughing at some of the kills, and I have to admit those liberal elites were so awfully and funny. I, like, like the time when they had to pick a black guy to bring in, and they all were up in arms. The guy's like, "We have to have diversity." <laughs> that made me laugh. So so much it, it was because it was it was absurd and it took on sort of like those stereotypes of say liberal elite and it ramped it up to 20 and it was hilarious and then it even took those being hunted and, and it took what whatever the the stereotypes of the deplorables and it ramped it up and it was hilarious um thoroughly enjoyed it i thought uh betty gilpin um I, I don't I, I never I don't recall seeing her or anything else. So to me, she's sort of she's on glow. Is it okay? Well, yeah. to me, she's kind of come out out of the blue, and she is great. And, and you know the thing is, she kicks ass in this movie. She fights this movie, and I believe everything she does. And it's not that she's necessarily huge, but she does have some size on her. But it's maybe it's her attitude, and maybe it's just that she sort of seems like this girl has fought before. But her fight scenes I bought. I thought Hillary Swank was great as a damn near nutty ass woman, and she was pretty vicious. I, I mean, everybody in there. It was. I laughed, and I, I mean, I laughed at these deaths because they were just so funny. Um, it, it, this was good, it, and, and it, it doesn't. This doesn't bring any. There's no real political message to it actually i mean they wouldn't even have to be necessarily liberal elites or deplorables they could have just been any rich assholes hunting poor people and it still would have been hilarious because you could have used the same sort of stereotypes and just made it funny so don't walk in there thinking like oh lord am i gonna have to sit through some political message thing that's almost like a MacGuffin, really It, it it doesn't really play any sort of pivotal role in it at all and therein lies the problem with our country. <laughs> we think we, we think yeah, it's it's liberal but, versus conservative, it, but uh, it, yeah, aroma. <laughs> it's 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 good. It's a great time. I enjoyed it. It was a great action movie. Has some good comedy in it. Everybody is great. Uh, if I was to give this a number score, easily eight and a half because it. And maybe because it totally exceeded my expectations and it was fun. Uh, I would definitely go and see this uh, opening night, say in a Friday night. Yeah, I would definitely have paid because it would have made me laugh. And I, I, I would just have a good time watching this for sure. 
Okay. Um, I also, I was pleasantly surprised because, you know, the kind of movie where everybody's mad at it before it even comes out. Yes. (laughs) Yes. You know, it could go either way. Like conservatives were super mad about it and liberals were super mad Mm. about it and no one had even seen it yet. Um, It was, you know, if you've ever seen Surviving the Game, which is another great hunting people movie with Ice T. Yes. Like, this is it was definitely the comedy version of of that um surviving the game is super serious um (laughs) um but it had like some kills like you said that are reminiscent of of a sam raimi kind of movie like it had a lot in common with you know drag me to hell or even like um like a midnight meat train where the kills are so graphic that you laugh out loud because they're just like ridiculous Mm -hmm. Uh, kills um betty kilpin was really great if you haven't seen glow it's a netflix original it's so good about the gorgeous the ladies, ladies of wrestling. wrestling yeah she's really good in that um I to watch that now yeah she's the one of the leads mm. um in that so she's really good like i totally bought her as like an ex marine mm-hmm. <laughs> um you know she's not she's she's definitely like she's taller like you said and she has like a certain like broadness in her shoulders where you believe that you know and these people are soft like yes. they have a lot for all the bravado that they have you know <laughs> kickboxing and a billy blanks kickboxing class isn't necessarily <laughs> fight training um <sighs> so and that one guy who was like their their oh, um their instructor he was just in the reserves yeah, like <laughs> Like, <laughs> no, sorry, National Guard. And he was, yeah, national, <laughs> not to shit on the National Guard, but I'm True. just saying, like, if, you know, a person with limited training is not going to be able to stand up to somebody who is like an active uh, yeah. Marine. But I bought it. I totally bought it. And it was ridiculous. And I was pleasantly surprised, like you said. And um, I would say I would definitely go see this on an opening night. I wouldn't be mad at it if I saw this on opening night. <laughs> And paid money, like paid good money to go see this in the theater. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't have been mad about it. Yeah. Because, um, again, totally surprised. It, it went the opposite way in a good way than where I thought it might have gone. Right. Which, it, which, right. which, and, and the humor, which was most surprising, that's really prevalent. And it made fun of both sides equally. Yes. Like, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't making fun of conservatives who are from you know the middle of america states more than it was making fun of the liberal elites who are from the coastal Mm -hmm. areas it wasn't one or the other um it was it was was just oh yeah it was both they were you know because both are ridiculous like the the stereotypes and the way that that people see each other and treat each other over things that they really should be agreeing on is nonsense Mm -hmm. um so i would say it's definitely worth a watch Uh, i really don't know why everybody was so mad about i guess they were mad at what they thought it was going to be again they they they, you hit it right there didn't even watch it yet and just decided to be mad beforehand yeah because the marketing used Mm -hmm. the word deplorable or whatever and they were it was like (laughs) One of the conservative poor people was like the hero of the movie, and the best, you know, uh, morally was the most sound. Yeah, like and and um, mentally sound and morally sound, mm-hmm. <laughs> and the hero of the movie. So I don't even know. I you know it's again it's one of those things where people are mad about a movie that they have created in their head versus an actual movie and almost killed this movie i know there was i think maybe there was a school shooting right before it come out the first time because it was supposed to come out in september i didn't know um, like a previous year and then it got pushed yeah it was originally going to come out in september and then it got pushed to uh like it just came out in Mm -hmm. march um and it literally came out on friday the 13th which was the like that was the day we were all issued the work from home order <laughs> Friday the 13th, 2020. And Perfect so day. like this movie did not stand a chance. Like it was 
does. That, that's a shame. I, I hope it gets. I hope this gets a lot of traction at, at home streaming yeah. because it, it's so enjoyable. It was definitely really enjoyable. Yeah. So got this one done in under ten. This yeah. is thirty-two seconds left. So you know what? We'll wrap it. Don, why don't you tell them where they can find us? <laughs> you can find us here on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to be notified every time we post a ten-minute take. But also. Go to tcadnetwork.com. That's where you will find a listing of all of our 10-minute takes as well as our podcast episodes. Also there, you will find Good Morning Antioch and the reading for some more online entertainment. Boom. So, yeah, uh, The Hunt, it's definitely, if we were Siskel and Ebert, it'd be a thumbs up from the both of us for sure. Uh, go check it out. But don't forget, subscribe, hit the bell. Till next time. See you.